Hi, this is Kyle with Geocalibration, and today we are going to be going over a quick start tutorial for those of you who have recently purchased a Model 2000 SP humidity generator. The first thing you want to do when you receive your unit is examine it for any shipping damage. As of 2018, we ship all Model 2000 SPs in this ruggedized hard plastic case. You can see that the interior is made of a nice foam, which is specifically cut to prevent damage to the unit during shipping. Even with all of these protections, we all know that the carriers can sometimes be a little rough. So do a thorough inspection for any bends, breaks, or dents. If you see anything at all wrong with the unit, immediately email service at geocalibration.com with both a description and photos. Assuming the unit passes your initial inspection, you should check the green bag to make sure you have received all of the following items in your accessories kit. One fill tube, one power cord, one USB stick, one five bung set, one set of positive and ground leads, one USB A to A cable, four door screws, two one amp fuses, and two four amp fuses. Finally, you should also have a manila envelope that contains your factory calibration report. At the very bottom of the case, you'll find an accessories box. Inside, there will be a six port door filled with six green plugs. As of April 2018, each six port door should have a single white colored port. This white port can be removed and the threaded hole can be used with a chilled mirror. Inspect the chamber to ensure that you have a control probe in the rear and a stability insert seated in an upside down Y configuration. Next, take the door and place the bottom edge of the circular seal into the chamber. Then, applying firm pressure to the door face, press the door into the chamber until it is flush against the sheet metal. Now, secure the door at each corner using the provided door screws. Before we do anything else, we have to examine the fill port and the fill level indicator. You'll notice that this fill indicator is on empty. That's because we completely empty the reservoir of all units prior to shipping. It is mandatory that you now fill the unit with water. Running the unit dry will result in a burned out saturator. To fill the unit, first remove the fill cap. Using the provided fill tube, add 150 milliliters of distilled water into the internal reservoir. When the reservoir is filled, through displacement, you will see the ball move inside the water fill level indicator. If you do decide to add water, be sure to do it in slow 20 milliliter increments. If you add too much water, the saturator will overflow into the chamber, and you'll have to remove water from the reservoir using the drain plug. After that, you'll have to clean up the pooled water inside the chamber using paper towels, reinstall the chamber door, lower the humidity down to 10% relative humidity, turn the chamber up to 40 degrees Celsius, and wait for at least 20 minutes for the residual water to dry. Once the unit is filled with water, remove the fill tube and secure the fill cap. Plug the unit in and turn the power switch to the on position. The unit is now ready to be used. You can accommodate any standard hygrometer by removing the port cap and replacing one of the plugs with an appropriate diameter bung. Replace the port cap, turning it clockwise until the bung is secure around the unit under test. At this point, you can move to the controller and press the next button to toggle between humidity and temperature. Once you've selected your field, press either the up or down keys to adjust the unit set points. In the next videos, we'll be going over all the external hardware on the Model 2000 SP and explaining advanced operation of the front panel interface, as well as using our PC software to control the unit. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe for more humidity calibration tutorials, tips, and product reviews.